remember in 1947 when we remember i was i had not born but i i read history a lot so i remember and particularly i have read nehru speech of trist with destiny which he delivered on 15th august night uh, on, on at lal kila basically he did not say of india becoming a great economic or su superpower he talked of india being an example to the world where problems of the people will be solved people would be made happy people's basic requirements would be fulfilled and therefore it was a people oriented nationalism please understand that and that is what precisely is missing from the present slogans of nationalism present slogans of nationalism reminds us of a 1932 slogan of hitler's nationalism what was that nationalism that nationalism meant that people particularly the toiling masses has to work with their head down they should not think of their own benefits they should sacrifice everything for the so for the nation and what do the nation stand and what does nation do balshali bharat is the concept that they try to sell us what is balshali america has big corporates and big defense industry we should also have a big corporates and big defense industry our neighbor should be scared of our power they should respect us because we are a big nation we are a strong nation therefore we should become a third economy as everybody is scared of american military power people should be scared for us this is the balshali bharat but where does that leave indian people in fact we can I, the tragic thing which happened during demonetization when number of people had to stand as a, in, in queue of uh, in the bank to change their notes i remember aiba people came forward in many branches to provide water sheds to these people who were standing in the queue for hours together 153 people died there was complaint there was a, uh, very much halla gulla in the parliament also in the paper that government is neglecting the uh, plight of the poor people we did not see any rich corporate standing in the line to change the notes but the poor man had to stand and had to die what was he told he was told look at the soldier who is standing in himalaya for 3 hours or 4 hours or 5 hours he does not complain he serves the nation so you should also not complain and stand in the line because this step has been taken in the interest of the nation what has happened after that step any issue has has black money come down has the swiss bank money come down has the terrorism come down has the cash inflow come down nothing has happened people do not talk about the facts people have not been helped therefore i remind i am remember i am reminded of mahatma ji mahatma ji had one was once asked how do you judge whether a particular economic policy is good or bad he gave a simple test what did he say he said that i would like to know the impact of that particular policy on the lowest rung of the people of the indian society if that is beneficiary then your policy is good and if that is not beneficiary your policy is not good a simple criteria of people oriented economy a simple criteria of what aiba stands for profit for the people money for the people capital for the people active economic activity for the people unfortunately this concept has been missing from the economic policies of all over the world there has been a emphasis on trickling down theory that is if the growth increases and naturally people will be benefited because of the trickle down that takes place that unfortunately is not happening the way in which people